Hi, I'm Donna Fields and welcome to CLIL Scaffolding 5. It's a series of webinars on how to implement scaffolding techniques you can use in your lessons. You can find these activities in my book, 101 Scaffolding Tech for Language, Teaching and Learning, that's also been translated into Spanish. Scaffolding, we can say, is an instructional technique used to help students to move towards stronger understanding of new material with the goal of helping them to be more independent learners. The goal for this lesson is to show how easy it is to adapt scaffolding technique number 30 to a primary and secondary lesson. And remember, according to studies, sharing objectives and co-creating them with our students helps to raise their engagement in their own learning significantly. Scaffolding technique 30 is called round and round it goes. This refers to a saying that probably started in carnivals, but it's very common when talking about games of chance. When you spin a wheel, you chant round and round it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. This technique uses a wheel, and each time you turn it, you see something different. Let's start with the secondary technology lesson. Technology has a lot of terminology that students need to learn. Here are three typical pages of a technology textbook. How can we introduce the terms, even before the students open their textbooks, to help them feel supported and empowered at the same time? Well, we're going to use positive transference. They'll be forwarding the knowledge they gain in one window of the wheel they see to complete the next one. And once you see how to prepare this activity, you'll realize how easy and effective it is. First, you take one of the pages and choose four to five terms from it. Write these terms in a text box and then copy the text box four times. In the first text box, eliminate one word from each sentence. And then in the other three text boxes, eliminate a different word in each of the sentences. Paste the four text boxes onto the bottom of the wheel so that when your students turn the top wheel, they'll only see one text box at a time. You prepare more wheels in the same way with different information in each of the wheels. You make as many wheels as there are pairs in your classes. So as one pair finishes working with one of the wheels, they exchange it with another pair. The activities continues until all the students have worked with all the wheels. You've scaffolded, supported your students in content and language, and your students will now be able to assimilate the chapter more easily when they open their textbooks. And because you've presented an activity that's geared towards so many different learning styles and intelligences, the information will go deeper into their long-term memory. How can we use this in a primary class? Let's try it in a social science class. They need to read a book on plastic, what it is, and the problem plastic poses in society. Now, they might already know something about recycling and plastic, but remember, they're going to be reading a text that's written in a language that's probably different from their home language. So this activity gives them both content and language support. So just as before, we take information from the book, in this case we'll probably take whole paragraphs, and type them into text boxes. We type the paragraph into a text box, copy it four times, and then eliminate a different word in each sentence of the four. We place one of the text boxes in each window of the wheel and then give one wheel to each pair of students. They read the paragraph and as they turn the wheel, they transfer their knowledge from what they read in one paragraph to the missing words in the paragraph visible in another window. Then you repeat the process for as many wheels as you have pairs in your class. And that's it, another scaffolding technique to support your students' learning. And you've created an activity that's geared towards many learning styles. So all you super teachers out there, I hope to see you next time. And please send me any comments you want to Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, or Facebook. And have fun in your classes in the meantime. See you soon. Bye.